we haven't really evolved it to deal with the health catastrophes of America. Okay? Um, school food is something that most kids, uh, 31 million a day actually, uh, have twice a day, more than often, breakfast and lunch, 180 days of the year. So you could say that school food is quite important really, judging the circumstances. Um, before I crack into my rant, which I'm sure you're waiting for, <laughs> I need to say one thing, and it's so important in, in hopefully the magic that happens and unfolds in the next three months. The lunch ladies, the lunch cooks of America, I offer myself as their ambassador. I'm not slagging them off. They're doing the best they can do. They're doing their best. But they're doing what they're told, and what they're, told to, what they're being told to do is wrong. The system is highly run by accountants. There's not enough or any food knowledgeable people in the business. There's a problem. If you're not a food expert and you've got tight budgets and it's getting tighter, then you can't be creative. You can't duck and dive and write different things around things. If you're an accountant and a box ticker, the only thing you can do in these circumstances is buy cheaper shit. Now, the reality is, is the, the food that your kids get every day is fast food, it's highly processed, there's not enough fresh food in there at all. You know, the amount of additives, e-numbers, ingredients, you wouldn't believe. There's not enough veggies at all. French fries are considered a vegetable, pizza for breakfast. They don't even get given crockery. Knives and forks, no, they're too dangerous. There's scissors in the classroom, but knives and forks, no. And the way I look at it is if you don't have knives and forks in your school, you're purely endorsing from a state level fast food because it's handheld. And yes, by the way, it is fast food. It's Sloppy Joes, it's burgers, it's wieners, it's pizzas, it's all of that stuff. 10% of what we spend on healthcare, as I said earlier, is on obesity and it's going to double. We're not teaching our kids. There's no statutory right to teach kids about food, elementary or secondary school, okay? We don't teach kids about food, right? And this is, this is a little clip from an elementary school, which is very common. Right. Who knows what this is? Potatoes. Potato? So you think these are potatoes? Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? Broccoli. What about this? A good old friend. Do you know what this is, honey? Celery. No. What do you think it is, darling? Onion. Onion, no. Immediately you get a really clear sense of do the kids know anything about where food comes from. Who knows what that is? Uh, pear. What do you think this is? I don't know. If the kids don't know what stuff is, then they will never eat it. Normal. England and America. England and America. Guess what fixed that? Guess what fixed that? Two one-hour sessions. We've got to start teaching our kids about food in schools, period. I want to go, I want to tell you about something, that I, want to, I want to tell you about something that kind of, it, it kind of epitomises the trouble that we're in, guys, okay? Uh, I, I want to talk about something so basic as milk. Every kid has the right to milk at school. Your kids will be having milk at school, breakfast and lunch, right? They'll be having two bottles, okay? Uh, and, and most kids do. But milk ain't good enough anymore because someone at the milk board, right, and don't get me wrong, I support milk, but someone at the milk board probably paid a lot of money for some geezer to work out that if you put loads of flavourings and colourings and sugar in milk, right, more kids will drink it. Yeah. And obviously, you know, now that's going to catch on, the apple board is going to work out that if they make toffee apples, they'll eat more apples as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, for me, there ain't no need to flavour the milk, okay? There's sugar in everything. I know the ins and outs of those ingredients. It's in everything. Even the milk hasn't escaped the kind of modern day problems. There's our milk, there's our carton. In that is nearly as much sugar as one of your favourite cans of fizzy pop and they're having two a day. So, let me just show you. We've got one kid here having, you know, eight tablespoons of sugar a day. You know, there's your week. There's your month. And I've took the liberty of putting in just the five years of elementary school, sugar, just from milk. Now, I don't know about you guys, 
But judging the circumstances, right, any judge in the whole world would look at the statistics and the evidence and they would find any government of old guilty of child abuse. That's my belief. Now, if I came up here, and I wish I could come up here today, and hang a cure for AIDS or cancer, you'd be fighting and scrambling to get to me. This, all this bad news, is preventable. That's the good news. It's very, very preventable. So, let's just think about, we've got a problem here, we need to reboot. Okay, so, in my world, what do we need to do? Here's the thing. Right? Um, it cannot just come from one source. To reboot and make real tangible change, real change, so that I can look you in the white of the eyes and say, in 10 years' time, the history of your children's lives, happiness, and let's not forget, you're clever if you eat well, you know, you're going to live longer, uh, all of that stuff, it will look different. Okay? So, supermarkets, where else do you shop so religiously? Week in, week out. How much money do you spend in your life in a supermarket? Love them. They just sell us what we want. All right. They owe us to put a food ambassador in every major supermarket. They need to help us shop. They need to show us how to cook quick, tasty, seasonal uh, meals for people that are busy. This is not expensive. It is done in some, and it needs to be done across the board in America soon and quick. The big brands, you know, the food brands, need to put food education at the heart of their businesses. I know, easier said than done, it's the future, it's the only way. Fast food, um, with the fast food industry, um, you know, it's very competitive.